guys welcome back to the channel today i'm gonna be preparing these fish that i bought these are um snapper from guyana and these are butterfish look at it i washed it with some vinegar and lemon juice and now i'm gonna season it so what i have here is all purple seasoning chief brand i'm gonna dash some of that some over here get it out right I'm trying to even this out then I'm gonna go in with some garlic next some green seasoning I'm also going in with some fish seasoning, a little bit of fish seasoning. Of course, some turmeric for color. No measurement today. Some black pepper. Gotta get our black pepper. And I'm gonna dash in some hot Jamaican yellow pepper. And of course, our MSG. I'm not putting a lot of salt because um, I already have um, salt in all those seasoning that I put in. So what I'm gonna do. I'm going to mix it up nicely. So guys, I'm finished with the snapper, you see? And everything is coated nicely. As you can see, everything is coated nicely. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to set this aside. And I let the guy cut it like this from the fish market because I'm going to um, fry it. I'm going to put this aside and I'm going to work with these butterfish okay I'm gonna work with this now stir this up nicely so I also finish with the butterfish look at it so nice and fresh so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go ahead and cover it I'm not gonna fry it today I'm gonna fry it tomorrow so it's gonna get to marinate properly overnight so I'm gonna do that right now. I'm gonna show you guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and cover it nice and I'll place it in the fridge overnight so every seasoning can work its way into these fish and I can have a lot of flavor. So voila guys, here you have it, both of the fish which I'm gonna place in my refrigerator and I'm gonna Fry it tomorrow and I'm going to show you guys how nice it came out. So guys, welcome back to the channel. And remember yesterday I seasoned the snapper and the butterfish. So I'm going to be frying it now. So I got my oil going. Okay, so what are we doing first Krishna? The snapper? Check out the snapper. Let it bubble. And we're frying it outside. The place is nice today. It's getting nice now, so we're gonna be doing a lot of cooking outside. Oh, let's check on it. The place is so bright. The sun, yeah, check it out. It's golden brown. Out. Ready to eat now with some uh, Corona. Can get some Corona, corona? beer going? Yeah, yeah, we can. Say it's a snap of course, and not some beer, not some Corona. Excellent. We got a good combination here. Beer and fried fish. Can go wrong. Cheers.
on this snapper we have all these that are finished frying and now we're working on the butterfish that's butterfish right yeah. butterfish go butterfish outdoor cooking so nice today outside more to go right it's bubbling in the oil that's the head okay so we did um the first set so let's go get the review dude let's try this butterfish and see what it looks like Depends on your liking. Some people want it more brown. Some people like it when it's like real soft. I like it when it's soft. Let me try a piece here. It's some hot sauce. This is Baran hot sauce from uh, St. Lucia. It's good. Excellent. Tastes nice and fresh. I can taste all the seasoning. Very good. Try it without the hot sauce now. Let's see. Try it without the hot sauce. Excellent. So your wife can marry it now? Yeah, yeah. So we finished trying all our things. Check it out guys. We are outside. So guys, after cooking up those delicious food, we outside, we try to turn the, the batch, we have a bathroom in the backyard, so we try to turn it, and this pipe right here, it was burst. This one. This one. So, are we trying to see if we could do a little thing, you know, we're not into these stuff, what do you call it, mechanic? No. Mm -hmm. Plumbing. <laughs> plumbing. plumbing. <laughs> Okay, done. Done. Let's turn on the water and see what happens. Let's turn on the water and see what happens. We had it run inside, right? But um, it keep on bursting every winter, so we decide to put it outdoor. So let's see what happens. So we're still working on it. What are you doing there? What is that yellow thing for? This is your some more back. Like it fit too snug. You gotta loose this side a little bit and push them more on this side. How is it? Still working on it, guys. So we're gonna cut this. Um, cut. what are you doing? Cut this pipe. A little bit too tight. I don't have some paper, so I'm using a file. <laughs> Let's see if it works. 
Guys, we're not professional. We're just trying to do try a, a thing or two. <laughs> trying to fix the pipe that uh, this one is for the, our outdoor bathroom, as I said before. And we're trying to fix it before we call a plumber. We had it run to the basement, but it's still you know bursting so you decide to run it outdoor so it's caused less damage to the property okay. we'll one side in. Let's see if you get this side in no. Let me tr wait here while he go in the basement trying to fi figure it out. And I'm here. I don't want it to feel bad. But here I'm waiting for the pipe that he fixed earlier. Right there. I'm here to see. And I still got my apron on. And my little tissue. Don't mind me. So we waiting. We still waiting for him turn the water on so we can see what happened he's not a you know a plumbing guy he's most of a a gadget person so let's see what happened so eventually it worked my husband was able to fix it the problem so we could get the bathroom for the backyard going again I'm gonna take you a tour to the bathroom in a minute. So my husband said that he fixed the bathroom in the back. Let's see. Guys, don't mind the bathroom. This is my backyard, the bathroom in the backyard. Everything worked the way. First time trying it, so guys. 